Hi everyone. It has been a while since I've been um, able to do a, a video post and I'm going to make every effort to try. I think I said this the last time though, so you might want to take that with a grain of salt, but I am going to make every effort to uh, be a little more uh, uh, patterned and, and, and constant about making some, some videos and posting. It feels like it's just been, you know, uh, the last couple videos have just been so far apart from one another. So I'm going to try to do a better job. Uh, but I thought I would get on real quickly and just do a quick review of something that probably you all have um, seen or heard other people on YouTube talk about. But um, quite often, when I, the folks that I have tended to watch um, talk about the Laura Mercier, um, um, it's called iBasics, but I think, you know, the the typical thing is that it's really a um, an eye and a primer for your eyeshadow I think um, in wheat which is what I used um, I've certainly seen a lot of people post about how wonderful it is and how much they love it but to be really honest a lot of them were quite a bit younger and I suspect don't have some of the issues around you know creasing and lines and wrinkles and those sorts of things that someone in my age group has and so I always have kind of taken it with a grain of salt although I must say I have tried a million and one products because someone said how fabulous that product was as as a primer for eyeshadow um, and none of them have ever really worked well for me. They were too oily, they were too dry, they settled in creases, they um, made my um, skin on my eyelids, even up, you know, close to my brow, seem um, almost scaly looking. I mean, it just gave, uh, you know, it just did not make for a very nice look. And so I had pretty much given up that I was ever going to find a primer um, that worked for me. And I finally gave in and purchased the Laura Mercier. And oh my gosh, this is, you know, as an older person who does not have, you know, wrinkle-free and smooth eye um, eyelids, I can tell you that, you know, for me, this is hands down the very best primer I have ever used. It does exactly what I would want it to do. It kind of, you know, um, makes my lid have sort of a, you know, a single shade rather than the, you know, kind of darkness that I have on my um, upper lids. It, it is easy to apply. It comes with a doe foot applicator and it just takes like a couple small dots on the eyelid and then I just, you know, pat it to distribute it over my lid and up, you know, into the upper portion of my eye coming right up to my brow. And it dried quickly. There was no, you know, waiting around for it to dry so I could move on to the Step of putting on my eyeshadow. It made my eyeshadow was easy to blend and apply. Um, I don't have tons of shadow still on, but I didn't put much on this morning, and it has been at least 12 hours since I since I put my eyeshadow on this morning. So I think it has allowed my eyeshadow to stay pretty well. And even at the end of the day, I just checked in one of those horrifying magnifying mirrors that that most of us have that you know just every little flaw is is enormous when you look at it and I even checked my um, eyes before I sat down to do this video and really there is no creasing it looks it looks just fine so I can't give um, uh, better than, you know, if I had multiple thumbs, it would get more than a two thumbs up from me. Um, and so if you happen to, you know, be having problems trying to find something that, that, that works, and if you're challenged with, 
you know, less than perfect, smooth um, skin um, in your eye area, and you have not tried this, I would encourage you to give it a try. Um, it takes very little, so I believe that this should last for a very long time. Um, and like I said, it does exactly what you hope a, a primer will do. So um, I don't know if that's a newsflash to anyone, but I thought I would come on and give, you know, my opinion and my experience and, and um, because I think it is a little different than, than some of the folks who are younger, who I learn all kinds of great things from, obviously, because, you know, um, that's really where I, where I heard about, about this product. And then real quickly, I just wanted to, um, quite obviously, this is yet a different hair situation than my last video. And I su highly suspect that, you know, you will see multiple um, hairstyles and colors and, you know, cuts and whatever um, as I go through, you know, my, my experience here. But I... I found this um, just this weekend and I'm, I'm really kind of liking it. It has, because it's a little longer, there's more options about, you know, how to wear it. I think it's got pretty nice movement for, you know, not being real human hair. And I think the thing I particularly like about it is um, it's, it's very comfortable. It's what they call a lace front wig. It's very comfortable because there's no elastic in, in the front and, and along the sides. There's only some elastic in the back. And the front of it actually, um, you, it comes with, with lace. Um, I think lace is kind of an odd word. It's really more like a very, very, very fine mesh netting almost, extremely fine that you that you cut and and it actually has in sort of individual hairs placed on the hairline so that unlike some of the the wigs that have um elastic all the way around you have the opportunity of not wearing bangs with this i happen to have cut some bangs into it because I prefer to wear bangs and I'm going to see my beautician in a couple days and I'm probably going to ask her to cut even a little heavier bang but I didn't want to be responsible for destroying this before she could get her hands on it so um, yeah so you're more than welcome to weigh in on whether you think you know this looks nice or whether you think it looks horrid um, uh, I'm kind of liking it for the moment, but um, like I said, I doubt that it'll be the last, the last different type that I try. So maybe something else will strike my fancy as um, being even more likable. So anyway, I'm just rambling now, so I guess I should just stop recording and you know go on about my business and let you go on about yours. So I um, hope everything's going well for everyone and that you're you know. You know, your week is so far a good one, and I will um, talk to you all another time. Bye-bye.